Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today's video is all about winter. I'll have more on that in just a bit. DIY number one. I have these three round nesting boxes from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take them all apart and I am going to paint them. Fun, fun. <laughs> so I am going to use this white Adirondack from Folk Art. Now I gave it one coat with the um, paintbrush and then I hot glued the boxes on top of each other and now I'm just taking a sponge and I am just pouncing over the whole entire thing and this gives it better coverage so um, I only had to do this one coat of the pouncing method if you will uh, to cover the three stacked boxes now once that's done i'm going to take my rich black chalk paint from folk art and i'm going to paint just the cover of the top um the top box now i'm sure you can guess by now what this is gonna be but hang on it's super adorable <laughs> Now, while that's drying, I have this ornament from the Dollar Tree. It's like Frosty's head with the, um, the nose and the eyes. And I did take those off. I'm going to reuse them. And then I am going to uh, also use the hat that came on top of it. So now that the top is dry, I'm going to take the hat and I'm going to just put a bunch of hot glue on the hat and attach it to the very top of the top box. So I did uh, pick out some buttons, which I'll be using later, but I wanted to put a scarf around his neck and I started out with the black and white um gingham ribbon and eh, I didn't I, I thought I should go with the red and black because of the hat uh, I don't know if it's a little too matchy matchy but I love how it came out so this is the black and red gingham that I also got from Dollar Tree so I'm just wrapping that around the second box and I'm just gonna wrap it around and I do leave a tail on either end of the ribbon keeping people please but this is my favorite holiday it's a chance to start over new because I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh and i've been long to hold you close forget about everything else so now i'm just going to take the ribbon and i kind of fold it back on itself um, so the front piece I fold onto itself and then I do the same with the back piece and it does leave a little bit of um, like a seam uh, but I do end up covering that and nobody will be the wiser to it. <laughs> so 
Um, I think that's all I did with that. Oh no. So I took the tails and I cut them at an angle and then I cut little slices in it to look like you know, the frayed end of the scarf. You know what I'm talking about, like where the yarn hangs. Anyway, I thought that would be cute. Now I have these red berries that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take some of the greenery that I also got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to add a piece over the scarf and then I'm going to add some berries on top of that and that will match the setup on his hat. Then I am going to take the black um, like half beads that they used for the eyes and I'm going to add those to the top box along with the little carrot nose that also came on the ornament. Then I'm going to take the three buttons that I found. One of my best friends um, gave me a whole container of buttons. So I found three matching black buttons and I'm just adding those right to his belly. And then I'm going to take that same rich black uh, chalk paint and the backside of a paintbrush and I'm just going to make little dots for his little smile. It's a chance to start over new because I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. Then I took these two like little branches or little sprigs, whatever you want to call them, off of the um, frosty pick from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put one on either side of the middle box and that those will be his arms and his hands. <laughs> it's so stinking cute. Wait till you see. And here it is. Look at how stinking adorable he is. Oh my goodness. I think he's so sweet. I am going to have him on one of my tables in the living room. I love him. Let me know what you guys think. This video is part of the Think Snow playlist. It is hosted by Amanda from Six Kits in a Glue Gun and Katie from Lady Red Crafting. And this month's guest host is Stephanie from Mama Can Make It. I love these ladies. They're all super talented. I'm going to have their channels linked down below as well as the playlist. Once you're done, checking out my video, head on down to the playlist and check everybody else's video out. You're going to love it and let them know I sent you. Now let's get back to the video. DIY number two. I got this wreath from Walmart. It was just under $13. It's so beautiful. And then I got these pine cones from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to take the um, the tags off and then I'm taking my white Adirondack paint and I am just going over the edges of all of the pine cones and I did this with two bags of the pine cones. Make it a
Now, once I got them all painted and dried, I'm just going to start hot gluing them all around this wreath. This wreath is so beautiful. It is so worth the $13. If you can find one at Walmart, pick it up. Now, once I got all of the pine cones in place, I have these frosted berries from the Dollar Tree and I am just going to start adding them all around the wreath as well. And of course, once I think I'm done, I kind of pick it up and look at it and then start filling in where I think there are some bare spots with more pine cones and more berries. Then I'm going to take this black and red, um, I think it's gingham, might be buffalo check, I don't know. I'm not sure I know the difference, to be honest. But anyways, so I am taking some strips of this ribbon. I did get this at Michael's like two or three years ago for 90% off. And I cut them into, I believe they're like, I don't know, I would say eight inches long, maybe. I didn't measure them. But I'm going to take them and then I'm just going to dovetail the ends so... Yeah, it just gives it a little more detail. Now, once I'm done with that, I am just going to take these pieces of ribbon and I kind of scrunch it in the center and then twist it around. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and put some on that end and just tuck it inside. Now, I've seen other people do this and I could not remember how they did it. And of course, I couldn't find any videos, but this worked for me. So... I'm calling it a win. So again, I scrunch it in the center and then twist it. And then I take some hot glue and add, you know, a generous amount of hot glue. And then I just stuff it in and it does attach itself to the wreath. So I'm not going to keep showing you all of these because I think by now you see what I'm doing. <laughs> Now, once I'm done with that, I'm just going to flip it over and then I'm going to use that same black and red gingham ribbon from the snowman and I'm just going to glue that together and I, I put I put it like back to back like that and then I kind of fold it over and put some hot glue on either side. You can see what I'm doing here. I really can't explain it. <laughs> can't explain half the things I do, people. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's it. And that will be my hanger. I do plan on putting this on my door. I think it came out so beautiful. It's stunning. I love it so, so much. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to pop on real quick to talk about Teddy Blake. They have beautiful, beautiful um, purses, handbags, 
wallets, whatever you want to call them. So they reached out to me and asked me if I would like to collaborate with them. And I have a small, teeny weeny, little bit of an obsession with bags. So when they were, when they reached out, of course I said yes. So here I am. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you, I haven't even, I took it out of the, cause it was a box in a box. So I took it out of the box, but I didn't, I mean, I might've like opened it and peeked, but it's all wrapped up. So I didn't get to see a whole lot. So I want to open it with you. So it comes in some bubble wrap and it comes in a, whoop, in a dust bag. Now this is all genuine leather and it smells like genuine leather. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember the name of the purse and the name escapes me, but I will have all of the information down below uh, along with the website and coupon codes and all of that good stuff. So this is the purse that I chose. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm like a grief. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. It's so beautiful. All of the detail, everything is, mwah, it's beautiful. All of the stitching, like it's just top quality. So I'm going to open it. So it comes with these little um, buckles and you just turn it and then pull it open. There's one on either side. And then you open the purse. So there's lots of just paper. And then it does come with a shoulder strap as well. And it is adjustable. It's got these little, are those like little buttons, I guess. Um, and yeah, so they're adjustable. And these little clips, and they're the black, just like the uh, detailing on the purse itself. The buckles are black. They do have it in like a brass, but I just really loved, I don't personally, it's a personal choice. I don't care for yellow gold all that much. Although I do have a couple pieces. Uh, so I just thought that the black was more my style. So. Um, let me get the rest of the paper out. There is a pocket inside and it's like a, like a beige suede inside. It's so pretty. Oh my good grief. I love, love, love this purse. And it's, it's just going to be amazing with the shoulder strap oh yeah look at that and it like swivels so it's not gonna get like twisted and caught up and all that stuff so there's the shoulder strap so so pretty oh my goodness so again you would just you know you close it up i need three hands and then you just put the buckle in and turn it and voila, so pretty. Oh my goodness. So there it is. And then they also sent me a wallet to go with the purse. Now I did try to get a black wallet, 
um, but they were out of stock with the one that I wanted. So I ended up going with the brown because I figured it would go okay with the beige. So here is the wallet. You could actually just use this as like a, I don't, I wouldn't say a clutch unless you had a little, um, like a wrist strap that you could put on here. Um, but it does not come with one. And this does have the brass zipper, but that's okay. Like I said, it's, I mean, it, I don't, I'm not the type that has to have like the matching purse and the wallet and it's got to be the same colors and all of the same material, you know, I'm not, I'm not that person. So, and there's nothing wrong with being that person, just want to make that clear, but that's just not me. So anyways, I think this is beautiful. It's got a coin place and the the zipper is like so smooth um so there's a place for your coin and coins and then there's the two larger pockets for your cash or whatever you want to put in there and then there's one two three four so there's eight spots for cards you can see right in here um, yeah and there's on either side so I uh, and it's made in Italy it says it right there so if you're looking for something that uh, you know may not necessarily be American made but isn't from other places you know what I mean anyway <laughs> this is a great company so again it's called Teddy Blake New York and the shipping was very very quick the packaging was very well um, everything was very well packaged I should say um, and everything's wrapped nicely it's all safe and secure it's not gonna get damaged so anyway there's my purse again look at how beautiful she is oh I think she's so pretty so anyway I want to thank uh, Teddy Blake for reaching out to me. I will have all of the information again down in my description box. If you're interested, just head on down there. They have so much to choose from. You're not going to believe it. So uh, yeah, so here it is. Thank you, Teddy Blake. And let's get back to the video. Okay, DIY number three. I have this wood blank. Well, it's it's a like a sign. It's actually a chalk couture sign, but you could do this with any sign from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna take that same black and red gingham ribbon, and I am just kind of folding over the end so that I have a nice straight line to start with. Um, I'm not sure that it helped because I'm not sure that I kept it straight but anyway so I'm just going to take this ribbon and I'm going to hot glue it to the center of this sign all the way up from the bottom right up to the top of the sign these are the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill then I'm going to take these plastic ornaments. I only end up using the white, but I'm showing you the iridescent ones as well. 
So I take the snowflakes and I am just going to add three of them right in the center. Um, and then, you know, take my smaller glue gun and just tack down the other little pointy pieces of the snowflake so that it's all down nice and tight. Now I did see a picture of this on Google, uh, something similar, and just wanted to recreate it. So here it is. And I can't remember what store it was from, but if I can remember, I will try to link it down below. Once I get them all tacked down, I take a utility knife and cut off the ribbon on the top. Now I'm making a finger bow and I slowed this down so that you could see what I'm doing. I'm doing a triple finger bow. So yeah, I'm just going to let you watch because <laughs> it's so hard to even try to explain. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been long to hold you close Forget about now, once I get it off my fingers, I'm just going to fluff it up, separate the loops, and then I think I dovetail the ends. Let's see, let's see what we do here. Yeah, I do. So I'm just going to dovetail the ends, and then I am going to hot glue it at the very top of my sign. So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning And that's it for this one. I think it's so simple, but it's so beautiful. I love how this one came out. Again, just so simple. Not a whole lot to it, but it packs a punch. Let me know what you guys think. I want to thank Amanda and Katie and Stephanie for hosting this playlist. I had so much fun making these projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. 
I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I want to thank you for all your love and support this year. I hope you all have the very best holiday season. Merry Christmas to you all, and I will see you next year. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me.